A little known piece of baseball history stands along the waterfront in Havita Grace, Maryland. Yeah, it's a statue celebrating the life of Ernest Burke, a Negro League baseball player who was a giant on the field and off. Jessica Albert has the story of the man and the statue. Along the waterfront in Havita Grace stands a statue many may not have noticed before. He was such a person of strong character. It's a statue of Ernest Burke, showing him in his element. The Havita Grace native played in the Negro League. Tell me a little bit about the statue behind us and how it got here. It opened up on June 26, Ernest Burke's birthday last year. But it had been almost 10, 20 years in coming. Kame Murphy is the brains behind this statue. She knows a thing or two about breaking color barriers. She's the daughter of famous jazz musician Cap Calloway. Murphy got the idea for the statue after meeting Ernest Burke in the 90s. And I was thinking, you know, there should be something more for him. There should be something a, a little bit more permanent. Uh, for him. Ernest Burke was born on June 26 of 1924. His parents died when he was nine. During World War II, he joined the Marine Corps, becoming one of the nation's first black Marines. It was there he discovered his love for baseball. So I heard he was a pretty, he was a pretty good player, right? Yeah, he was pretty good. He was a pitcher and he was an uh, outfielder and he, um, he held his own. After his service, he moved back to Maryland and joined the Baltimore Elite Giants, playing for the team for two years. In 1949, he joined the Poughkeepsie Kingston team in New York. He also played in South America during off seasons and in the Canadian Provincial League. He's very humble and had a giving heart. Rainer Banks is a co-founder of the Negro League Museum in Owings Mills and is an expert on the league and its players. He helped Mrs. Murphy bring the statue to have it a grace. To see it come to Baltimore and to be there to feel and touch it, the unveiling that took place. I know Mr. Burke was looking down with nothing but smiles. Ernest Burke passed away in 2004. He is not only remembered for baseball. He was very, very able to help a lot of the, uh, the players out who played baseball. And, uh, he was like a mentor to a lot of those guys back in the day as well. But also for his work as a community advocate. He gave motivational speeches at schools and colleges, explaining what it was like to play in the Negro Leagues. He wanted young people to know about those times and sort of what they went through to get into the, the, uh, the major leagues. He thought that the Negro League um, was important, uh, that baseball is a game that everybody should have an opportunity to play. Now, the statue, which has baseball seats across from it, is a symbol of Burke's life in his hometown. Murphy and other community members host athletic games here for young kids, hoping to find the next Ernest Burke. We have more success with the girls' teams winning the medals and trophies than we do with some of the boys teams. So some of you boys had better get with it. I know it might be Ernestine Burke. Ernestine Burke, that's right. Ernestine, love that. I love it. You know, um, <laughs> baseball is America's pastime and that just shows you in America's history too. Yeah. It's such a part of American history. I'm glad that statue is there. What a great legacy. Well, he thought that the Negro League um, was important, uh, that baseball is a game that everybody should have an opportunity to play. A giant in baseball, such a big piece of history surrounding this statue. Yeah, Jessica joins us now with more on this fascinating story. I mean, there's so many intricate parts. What was it like telling this story? I mean, we're talking baseball all week. So it fits now, but this is an important story. Absolutely. And I know you guys had Kelsey on here yesterday for the first woman in our area in the Pony League. Am, mm -hmm. I, am I right? So meeting these people who knew these people, or in Kelsey's case, actually interviewing a person that went out there and just decided, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be the first to do this. I don't care what people think about me. 
I love the game, and other people should be able to play too. It's just truly incredible because if I wanted to pick up a bat and play baseball now, <laughs> nobody would care, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just it's it's so rewarding and uh, rewarding to tell these stories. Tell us more about this lovely woman you interviewed because she worked really hard to preserve this piece of history. How do you think she is? I told you, but guess if you didn't know. <laughs> she is sharp. I, I, I do not guess. I'm That's, uh, I make that a rule. <laughs> She's 95, wow. but she's with it, and I bet she could mm -hmm. beat me in a foot race. Um, <laughs> and she's just was so tenacious to get this statue to have a day grace. It was really important to her. She said she met uh, Mr. Burke in 95, and she was like, why don't people know about this mm -hmm. man? So she worked with the city and the county and uh, got grant money to make this statue on the waterfront, and it's beautiful, guys. Um, I don't know if you saw... The, the seats in the story. That's our favorite. Yeah, that I've cool. never so seen that, right? Touch. I love that. And Cab Calloway's daughter as well. That's, yes, so. Cab Calloway's daughter, famous jazz musician who broke barriers himself in his time. So, um, and I believe I was reading about Miss Kame. She's very humble, so she didn't tell me this. I did my mm -hmm. research myself. I believe she was the first black woman to teach in some schools in my hometown, Northern Virginia. Oh. So, you know, she's just an incredible woman, and to hear her perspective on Mr. Burke was. Very cool. And this statue is here for, it's not a traveling exhibit. It's no, here. Yeah, it's permanent. It's here, and today's a beautiful day. We're going to have a beautiful day, I think, for opening day if mm -hmm. you're not going to the game. So um, go out and see the statue. There are baseball seats there. Just sit down, <laughs> reflect a little bit. Yes, right. enjoy the view of the water. And it's so interesting. You walk past statues and you don't know the backstory. So it's so interesting to learn. Absolutely. A little known piece of history and have a day, Grace. All right, mm -hmm. Jessica, thank you so much.